How do you see the small business CUI really providing value to its members and to the society as a whole? The small business CUI is how I see it, a hub of information, a hub of resources, and the opportunity for um, small business members to have their voices heard on the issues that are important to them. Um, what we are trying to move forward in is moving it from a conversation about um, providing information and having their voices heard to having a dialogue with those stakeholders that are really going to make a difference. So that's going to be our IGE, industry government engagement, um, that we are going to um, be really focusing on. So that's really the opportunity to build networks with the people that are going to really make a difference um, in the success of their companies. You're taking over as the CUI chair. What programs or initiatives are you going to focus on to help build those, those networks? What I've challenged the COI to do, the steering committee of the COI to do this year is take on three new initiatives. Those initiatives would be first, that we build out a um, certification program for our new and emerging uh, small businesses and help them understand the SME path of doing business with the federal government. Um, a, from financing, um, uh, law, uh, regulation, all the way on through a, a structured path um, that will get them ready to be successful with the federal government. So that's the first initiative. The second one is a mentoring program. And the mentoring program, while SAME does an excellent job of mentoring our young professionals, I find that the small businesses don't necessarily get the same amount of focus. So offering our small businesses a mentoring program, a peer-to-peer -peer network um, that um, is available to them on a regular basis. We have a, a plethora of resources and um, uh, subject matter experts within the SAME community that are ready um, to, to step up and to help with this mentorship program. This would also likely be done in conjunction with the Academy of Fellows, um, as there is also an ongoing uh, mentoring program being started up by Filios Angelides. Um, and so I work with Filios pretty regularly through the post level um, and through other associations, and so it should be a really good um, partnership to get that launched. And then the third thing, again, would be the focus on industry government engagement. We do that really well at the national level, and we have an extremely successful uh, size standard um, transition IGE that's currently being led by Mercedes uh, Enriquez, uh, and we would like to do more. I joined to volunteer um, within SAME, and then through volunteering got to know um, so much more and meet mentors. Um, my my two mentors that I have right now, I don't I I owe them so much for um, providing insight into how to grow. Um, Cindy Lincecum, who I've worked with, she was a client of our company when I first joined SAME, and to see her path within SAME and have um, her work with me and talk with me about what the possibilities are. And then we also, also Heather Weiser Smith, who is a mentor to many, um, but also that behind the scenes, you can do it, like we believe in you, is an awesome sort of thing to see, um, not only for growth within SAME, but you know, professionally within my career, um, having that you know, really solid um, female um, voices, who are leaders within the industry. And those kind of connections um, you know, are incredibly unique to SAME. What do you see as kind of the main challenges that, that the small business community is facing? Um, so for our small businesses, particularly the small, small businesses who are just trying to figure out how to pull together a capability statement. How do I even call on the government? How is it that um, I, I can meet and find a trusted partner. The, the bare minimum here in success. And then you tack on all of these other challenges. Large businesses are buying up small businesses, so there aren't that many small businesses there. Um, and then because of the challenges, um, not as many are entering into the workspace. So, um, <laughs> 
it's it's one of those things where what do you start with first right the huge issues that we need to talk about um with government to to um to um make sure that we're addressing some of these larger challenges um or do we start on sort of the smaller local level on some of these small uh, these other efforts like a capabilities briefing which can be done in a day but for those who may not know don't uh don't have the resources understanding may take them a month you know things like that the beauty of SAME is that we have enough resources internally to be able to tackle multiple issues all at once. What's your favorite part about being the chair of the Small Business CY? Um, my favorite thing is the opportunity to bring solutions to small businesses. But I can also list many. Okay. It's celebrating small businesses and the successes that they have because each day is another success.